Hello again. Okay, cool. So this is the second video. Uh, we do two videos a day at least, uh, and this is the second video, which is a thought of the day video, where I pick up a thought uh, on anything. The thought, that, and that's the wonderful thing about these thought of the day videos that I don't myself know uh, what the thought is going to be on. So I randomly open the book or open this book of thoughts, which I bought some time back. and i think i'm putting this book to good use i'm just finding beautiful thoughts from wonderful people because that's the thing about great writing um it makes you learn something uh, even 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 a small thought uh, which has been well written well thought of uh, changes something in our minds or even if it doesn't change something it reminds us of something that we already know that is important about life so all right so today's thought is on books today's thought is on books and it's beautiful it's by Jazzy Lee Bennett and I have not read anything by Jazzy Lee Bennett so I don't know for writing but uh, the thought is beautiful and it's about books all right and largely this channel has become a book channel if you, if you although I'm, I'm making these videos talking about positivity optimism happiness but again so I mean these videos are largely derived from books I'm reading my own book and I'm reading a thought of the day from another book <laughs> so it's a book based channel mostly right Cool. Uh, so books. <coughs> the thought is, books are the compass and telescopes and sextants and charts, which other men have prepared to help us navigate the dangerous seas of human life. Books are the compass and telescopes and sextants and charts, which other men have prepared to help us navigate the dangerous seas of human life. so what this thought is essentially saying is is books are tools uh which uh, people who have lived life be- before us uh who understand life in their own ways who understand life better who people who are wise people who are intelligent uh, people who have something to say about life and uh their tools books are tools that help us navigate the dangerous seas of human life so it admits that that the human life is difficult and uh, these are dangerous waters <laughs> and uh, we all learn we all need to learn to navigate these dangerous waters in our own ways and uh, books help us books help us by because when we read the stories of men and women who who lived lives worthy of living and uh, they they learn something from their lives and they put it down for us uh, in the books that they wrote we learn to navigate the dangerous seas of life so uh, read books essentially the if there's if there's an action item uh, that you can learn from from this thought is read books read variety of books uh, personally uh, all my life uh, i have read most of non fiction i've been a non fiction reader i've read a bit of f- fiction and uh, <clears throat> the only writer whose entire fictional work i've read is ayn rand i have read everything ayn rand has written and it was all fiction however it is not just pure play entertaining fiction uh a lot of fiction in the world is uh is pure based on entertainment however i have never read for entertainment i have not i i, I don't read books for entertainment i read books to learn i read books to think about life i read books to reflect about life so <clears throat> a lot of what i've read uh, has been to reflect on my own life and to learn about lives uh, of other people so ayn rand's work be the At- atlas shrugged or the fountain head or uh, the virtue of selfishness <clears throat> all of those books uh, are phenomenal works and i think atlas shrugged is perhaps even even fountain head for that matter are two of the best books ever written so um, and i've read i have read uh, a lot of autobiographies uh, my favorite two autobiographies are the story of nelson mandela uh, the long walk to freedom and uh, helen keller the story of my life she wrote that sto- she wrote that book by the way at the age of 22 helen keller wrote her autobiography at the age of 22 uh she uh, was born uh, a normal child and she was rendered deaf blind and mute at about 19 months of age uh by an illness that she contracted and she wrote her story she wrote the story of those 20 years of living in a dark life and she lived till 88 years by the way 
so it's these are two great stories and i highly recommend you to read autobiographies um although right now i'm reading the biography of elon musk uh but i really enjoy reading autobiographies more because autobiographies are stories written by people themselves their own life stories and i i really i really feel that people who live great lives should write an autobiography all right so this is the thought of the day and this is a beautiful thought and 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 the measure of it that all of us should read books books are the compass and telescopes and sextants and charts which other men have prepared to help us navigate the dangerous seas of human life by jesse lee bennett that's the thought of the day all right i hope your neck i wish you a uh, uh, good day ahead and uh, and a good evening in case you are in india bye